Hey Wolves fans, welcome to first Fireside Friday of this year. Uh, been a little bit busy, so we haven't been able to get over here to uh, talk a little Wolves wrestling, but I uh, just wanted to give you an update on what's been going on so far this year. We've had a really busy fall. Guys worked really hard in our preseason and stuff like that. Uh, we had some exciting things happen. We had uh, Eddie Clark, uh, former All-American here at Northern State, get inducted into the Hall of Fame. So we had an uh, alumni reunion during that weekend, had a lot of great people come back to, to celebrate that during Gypsy Day weekend. So it was cool to see that. Um, also, we had a lot of excitement this year for our mat side seats. We had 42 of those available and they all sold out pretty quickly. So looking forward to that first home match on December, 20, or December 8th against uh, Concordia Moorhead. Should be a good, great atmosphere. We can turn the lights off now in the Barnett Center, have a spotlight out there. So uh, should be a pretty cool atmosphere for all our fans, but especially those that uh, purchased uh, mat side seats. And we actually just sent those passes out this week. So uh, people who, who purchased some of those, you should be seeing them in the mail pretty soon. So um, like I said, looking forward to having, having you out there for our home duels and looking forward to December 8th. Uh, as far as like some of the things wrestling wise that have been going on, uh, preseason rankings came out this couple weeks ago and we're pretty excited. Uh, guys came in at, as a team ranked at 15th in the country. We had two guys uh, ranked in the country in their individual weight classes. Blake Perryman was ranked 10th at 157 pounds, and then Joe Gomez is uh, preseason number one wrestler at uh, 197 pounds this year. So uh, obviously we're excited about that. Uh, I think it shows some of the progress we're making as a team, but at the end of the day, rankings you know, really don't matter. What matters is what we're doing on the mat. So um, our guys are really just focused in on every day and process of what it's going to take to get better. Um, but like I said, it is it is good to see um, some of those guys start stepping it up and, and getting a little bit of recognition out, out in the country and, and uh, kind of gives us just a little bit of a bar where we're at and where we need to go. So um, like I said, pretty cool to, to come out preseason with those rankings. And then also right after that, we got uh, NSIC conference preseason rest of the year was uh, announced last week and uh, went to Joe Gomez. So. It's a pretty big honor, you know. We feel like the Northern Sun Conference is one of the toughest conferences for wrestling in Division Two. So to to have one of our guys be the preseason wrestler of the year is pretty quick, pretty cool. Um, Joe's two-time All-American, national runner-up last year. So uh, looking for big things for him again this season, and looking forward to seeing how he's going to pr progress throughout the year. Uh, we did start last weekend with the competition. We went down to Dactronics Open. Uh, took took our whole team down there, um, other than a couple guys that were injured and, and competed against some great competition. Uh, you know, I felt our guys wrestled really well, saw some good things out of our young guys um, and our older guys as well. So uh, we came away that weekend. Uh, Tyler Stenberg got fifth at 149 pounds, and then uh, Joe Gomez placed uh, sixth at 197, and Sean Heblavik was uh, sixth at 165 pounds. So wrestled really well. Pretty tough competition, a lot of Division One competition. So Nebraska was there, South Dakota State, um, Wyoming, or not, uh, Arizona State, and University of Minnesota, as well as some other Division Two schools and, and junior college schools. So uh, good, good competition. Guys, got to see you know what it's going to take to to be successful this year, especially our young guys. So um, excited with uh, the way they competed and where we can go from here. After that, after his performance from this past weekend, too, uh, Tyler Tyler Stenberg was. Uh, in the NSIC Conference Wrestler of the Week, so great honor for him, and uh, really a great year, great start to his year. So, um, you know, Tyler is just an exciting wrestler, and we're looking forward to seeing how he does throughout the year. And try to keep him healthy this season. So, this this weekend, tomorrow, we're heading out to uh, Dakota Wesley Open. Uh, we're going to take a smaller crew of guys this year. We got or, uh, this weekend, we got a couple guys that are banged up. So we're going to rest them and let them get healthy, but uh, we should have some of our young guys there getting them some more matches in and getting some mat time and, and working on some things or seeing what they need to work on um, as they keep progressing throughout the year. So uh, if you're out in the Mitchell area tomorrow, love to see you out there. Starts at 9 o'clock uh, at the uh, campus of Dakota Wesleyan. And then uh, the following week weekend, we're going to head up to Moorhead and wrestle at the Concordia, um, the Cobber Open for at uh, Concordia Moorhead. So, those are our next two competitions. Like I said, if you're in either of those areas, love to see you out there and uh, get you out there supporting some of our guys. But uh, other than that, we will also be announcing our uh, recruiting class here probably sometime next week, so, so stay tuned for that. Still waiting on a couple guys to hear from them, but uh, we do have um, 
several of our, our recruits have sent in their letters of intent. So, uh, like I said, hopefully we'll have that uh, announced next week. But uh, other than that, uh, thank our veterans. I guess it is Veterans Day, so we want to thank all our veterans for all they've done. We've got a lot of former Wolves that have, have been in active duty military. So thank, thank you guys to, for everything you've done. Have a great weekend, and, and go Wolves.